Okay, so basically I'm gonna walk you through what I want and I'm gonna show you what I have currently created and then see if there's a way that we can make something more efficient. So basically, here's what, here's what I want. I want something that will allow my students to input data like once a week or maybe once a day pretty quickly. And I want to be able to look at that data very quickly and sort it by category. So for example, I just made like a template of maybe a questionnaire that my students would fill out. So they put their last name, first name, maybe they put what period they're in. And then for each week, I'm assuming they're gonna fill this out once a week, um, they're gonna answer these five questions. Um, how are you feeling this week? So they'll put a number in there. How many topics did you finish or master in Alex? It's an online program. Anything good happen, anything bad happen? And then what'd you get on the test this week? You know, whatever, simple. I can add or remove questions from there. And basically what each student will do is they're gonna create their own sheet here. <clears throat> and this is where the import range function comes into play. So, so John Doe's gonna come in here and he's gonna um, come up to his very top left corner here. And he's gonna type equals import range. And he's gonna pull that, that main template right here. He's gonna tell his sheet to read from this template. And so it's gonna pull all of these questions here. Okay, so it's gonna import the last name, first name. He's gonna input this information, right? So he's gonna type in John Doe and then he's gonna to start to enter in information, right? So maybe he says three, 17, uh, made soccer team this week, nothing bad happened and there was no test this week, whatever. Um, and then what's gonna happen is each student is gonna do this. They're gonna have this created and then they're just gonna fill it out every week. Maybe they fill out a Google form. Maybe there's some other third party app. I have no idea. Maybe you can think of something better. What it does is then I have a master uh, data collection sheet. And what I've done is I'm going to import from uh, range from each individual student sheet. So like right here, I'm gonna import the data from John sheet. So this is actually the, the ID of John sheet here. If you go and look at John sheet, that's that ID right there. And then uh, it's gonna import all of his answers. So whenever he updates his sheet right here, then it will show up in my master, right? So see how it's two, three, if I put another number here like five and hit enter, it should pop up in my master right here. Yep, so it takes a sec there. So this is really nice. I have one place where all of the data just congregates and I don't have to go look at it for each student. So that's really nice. Here's what I need. I feel like this exists, I just don't know how to do it. I would love to be able to take all of this data and quickly sort it by category. So for example, I wanna know how everybody was feeling this week. I just wanna be able to see everybody's, how are you feeling this week? I can see that here, right? Two, five, two, but it's not nicely organized by category there. So here's what I need. I'm wondering if there's a quick way, if there's a function or formula to just type stuff in here that will pull every, you know, one, two, three, four, or five, every sixth line or something like that, or every time there's an entry and just put them all together like this so there's no spaces in between them. And then um, I would like it to also pull the data points, you know, and then maybe we go August 24th to 28th, right? And then is there a quick way that I can just pull all of these data points here uh, from this list? So that's really my question. Um, so if you can answer that question, great. Uh, look, I can go in and type this out manually and then copy and paste it a few times. It's just kind of annoying to do it for 150 students. So that's my dilemma. If you have a better solution for getting the data and organizing it, I would also welcome uh, that as well. Cool. Hopefully you guys can help. Let me know if you have any questions.